Hi. Now let's derive the identity for a minus b whole cube. Okay. This a minus b whole cube can be written as a minus b multiplied by a minus b whole square. Right. Because we know a to the power m plus n actually equal to a to the power m multiplied by a to the power n. Right. So we can use this identity to break it. And why are we breaking it? We are breaking it because we already know the formula for a minus b whole square. So if we apply this formula and expand it, this a minus b can be written as it is and we can use the formula of a minus b whole square. The formula for a minus b whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square right and now we will do simple multiplication so in that what we do we'll take the first term of the first expression and then we multiply it to the all the terms of the second expression and then we'll take and then we'll repeat the same procedure with the second term of the first expression. So let me first write when we multiply first term of the first expression to all the terms of the second expression we'll get a multiplied by a square that is a cube a multiplied by minus 2ab so plus minus minus 2 times a square b right then this a gets multiplied to b square so we'll get plus a b square right and now we will multiply this minus b to all the terms of the second expression right so what we are going to get we will get minus b multiplied to a square so we'll get minus a square b and then minus b gets multiplied to minus 2ab so minus and minus plus 2ab square and then this b gets multiplied to b square minus b gets multiplied to b square and we'll get minus b cube right now let's solve it further and accumulate all the like terms so let me first write a cube then we have minus 2 a square b and we have one more a square b that is also negative so we have to add both the terms and keep the sign as minus so minus 2 a square b and minus a square b will be minus 3 a square b and then we have plus a b square and one more a b square is there that is 2 a b square so 2 a b square plus a b square will be plus 3 a b square right and then we have minus b cube right so this is the formula for a minus b whole cube and there is one more way in which this formula can be expressed which is a cube minus b cube and 
we have 3 a square b which is negative and we also have 3 a b square. So if we take minus 3 a b as common we will have a from here and b minus b will be from here. Why minus b? Because we have taken minus 3 a b as common. So minus 3 a b multiplied by minus a, minus b will give us plus 3 a b square. Right? So this is the formula for a minus b whole cube and one more benefit of keeping a minus b inside the bracket is that it is very similar to this bracket a minus b right so this is the formula for a minus b whole cube which is a cube minus b cube minus 3 a b and inside the bracket a minus b or it can also be written as this a cube minus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square and minus b cube how to remember this formula which terms will be negative or and which will be positive see if we see this carefully it is very similar to the formula of a plus b whole cube except a few signs are negative the signs which are negative has odd power of b here the power of b is 1 so this term is negative here again the power of b is 3 which is again an odd number so this term is also negative and in this term the power of b is 2 which is positive so minus multi minus b multiplied by minus b will uh, give us positive b square and minus b will give us negative term and minus b's whole cube again will give us negative term because minus b multiplied by minus b is positive b square and b square multiplied by minus b will give us negative or minus b cube so it's very easy to remember right any term which has odd number as power of negative term will be negative right similarly this formula is also very easy to remember it is a cube minus b cube and then you take minus 3 a b outside and inside the bracket you will have a minus b